This is the story of Wiley, aka Richard Carey Jr., who was born and raised in East London and lived in a bowl area. His parents were from Trinidad and Antigua. When he was 10, he briefly moved to Chatham in Kent and then came back to live in East London. As a teenager in the early 90s, he began to sell crack cocaine and heroin. He was introduced to drugs by one of his DJ friends, who was making a lot of money at the time. But he soon stopped when threatened by local older dealers. This was when he started to make music. He started off as a DJ, then eventually started MCing. Although concentrating on his music, he found himself still getting involved in altercations. He was once ambushed at a show where he was stabbed up to seven times. He survived from his injuries, but several weeks later, the same group of people once again stabbed him, which almost led to him dying. In total, he's been stabbed more than 20 times in his lifetime. In the year 2000, Wiley went from the SS crew to join the Ladies Hit Squad, a garage crew with his college friends DJ Target and MC Max D. They soon formed a super group along with other prominent names at the time and called themselves Pay As You Go. The standard tune of the collective at the time was No We. I'm gonna be be a lyrical G Wiley Lee. I'm not gonna get lively, so if you step into my circle, better beware. I'm gonna live to the end out here, don't care. Wiley number one at the top of the stairs. No fears, go and clear, car. This is my year, you can't see, but you can hear me in the front and the rear. Who wanna step? Come if you're there, my time's near. If it wa- When the group disbanded, Wiley created Roll Deep, which included Tinsy Strider and Dizzy Rascal. They had a huge underground success and made a big impact to the culture of UK music. After this period, Wiley started producing a lot of instrumentals with a unique sound. At this point he signed to XL Recording and released his first track, What You Call It. This is what they say was the birth of grime music, transitioning from garage. There's a sound called garage, but this is my sound, it sure ain't garage. I've heard they don't like me in garage because I use their scene to make my own sound. The Eskimo sound is mine, recognize it. Wiley released three albums leading up to 2008, where he finally broke into the mainstream with his hit song, Wearing My Rolex. This reached number two in the top 40 and spent 22 weeks on the charts. He has continuously been consistent in releasing projects and albums over the years and was rewarded for his services. He received an MBE for his contribution to UK music. A true pioneering figure of our times and of our culture. <laughs> 